Welcome back to the Cutthroat Journey. Feel the passion. Let's get going. On this video, I use the Feather Artist Club DX. Let's see how the shave goes. Take one. Welcome back, guys, to the channel. My shave of the day. So, today is Friday? Oh my, I tell you what. I am losing it, you guys. <sighs> the work past three nights, old graveyard shift. Bring the teens here. The old Feather DX. My favorite shave bed. It has a Proline blade. I think it's number shave nine or ten. Don't quote me on that one. And then Murphy and McNeil, Kells, wonderful slick rick base. Had to go with this one when I was looking down my trusty hobby store. Huh? <laughs> I tell you what, guys. That old graveyard shift, if you ever worked it, you know what I'm talking about. If you've never worked it, go do it and try it out and see what you feel like. <laughs> it's, it's different. Okay, let's get cracking here. Because, you know what? I'm, I'm in need of a shave here. As so much as it's only been a day, I mean, it's like, it feels like a Brillo pad on my face. Yeah. So how are you guys doing out there? Appreciate you stopping by for another episode here at the Cutthroat Journey. If you're new to the channel, if this is your first time visiting the channel, kindly browse around. There's material for everybody, and I would kindly appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. You won't regret it. And if you're a returning, I was going to say customer, my gosh, returning uh, supporter, appreciate you stopping by again. Truly do. Appreciate all of your support. Got the old belly goat growing out still. And I think that's, I think that's enough. Oh, uh, did I show you my brush? No, right now I just did, but uh, Grizzly Bay, uh, two banner. Yep, I have all next two. So I'm looking forward to that here. And then, I work on Sunday, so I'm gonna watch some football tomorrow. Some good, some good playoff games on. So, if you guys are interested, it's uh, Packers and Sam Fran tomorrow night. That's gonna be a good one. So I'm gonna just dry this off and put this bag back on my trusty hobbies drawer. You know I had to say, it, you guys. <laughs> oh boy, I tell you what. Yeah, this trusty hobbyist drawer is starting to fill up down here. You know, when you guys first probably saw my channel, you saw that I didn't have many soaps. Maybe I was using maybe one, but no, I have a variety. It's just nice to kind of mix it up a little bit. So the Feather DX, I used it yesterday. I got a great shave right before work. And the Pro Line blade that's in it right now is still going strong. I think it's maybe shaving eight to ten, maybe. I'm, I know one thing I'm gonna do, you guys. Oh, well, I know one thing I'm gonna keep my eye on this GoPro over here. Because it you know how pesky it can be, but do you know what I'm gonna do? Once I bend this blade, I'm gonna get a blade, you know, and I'm gonna track its progress. I'm going to see how far I could take a ship pro line. It's going to be just shown on the channel. So we'll see how far we could take it. Watch me go a thousand shapes. Because <laughs> this thing goes strong. It's still going strong. Look at that. If you're on the fence about buy, buying the Feather DX, Stop thinking about it and just go get it. Or any of the artist clubs. So, um, you know, they are a little costly, but they're worth it. 
And my buddy Jay Mac, the Red Island Shaver, I'll link his channel. He loves them. Artist Club SS. And I have one thing, you guys, that you may have seen. I am approaching a milestone. 500 subscribers. I'm at, I think, 491 right now. So, I appreciate you if you subscribe. If you're, you know, returning and you haven't done that yet, uh, get me to that magical number because I'm going to be doing a giveaway. I haven't done one of those in a while. First pass with the grain. Let's see how the shave goes. Feather DX. Yep, blade's still going strong, you guys. No tug. No drag from this razor. Just goes right through. go. First side. The angle, I mean, it's just like a traditional, traditional straight. I'm going to give a shout out to a channel. Devin Jackson. He specializes in straight razors, honing, uh, you know, he uses codicules, he uses a whole bunch of stones, I think some J-Nats. He gave my channel a mention the other day on his video, he said about, you know, how I specialize in shavettes and all, and that there's not a channel out there that truly does that, and... I may have to agree with him on that, but I mean, maybe if I look closer, there is another one, but, um, but yeah, he, he's a good honer and I've enjoyed his videos in the past and still do today. So I'll link his channel. A little razor bump right in that little area of my throat there. Little Miss Roman, this can't be wrong with. I've heard this song. It's been Doctor's Little Miss. Little Miss, though, I don't know the whole song, but I heard that on the radio coming in here, coming back from work. Them cigarettes are gonna make you come off. Oh, it's on the <laughs> Love that lyric. Hope <laughs> them cigarettes are gonna make you cough. <laughs> the good old 90s, you guys. Alter the alternative era of the 1990s. I 
but I do love my shave heads. I love the ease of use, the sharpness of them. You know, you don't really have to think too much about honing, which I do enjoy honing. I need to get back to it. Yeah, I miss, I miss honing. I would do it every day. But just been busy and, you know, with certain things in life and work and come home, just want to relax and all, you know, one of those type things, but You have buttery smooth still with this uh, Pro Line. Check out the inlay. It's one of my most beautiful razors as well. Doozy of a, of a night last night with 11 degree low. I'm glad my pipes didn't freeze. I forgot to like drip the water a little bit. They didn't. So let's go for the second pass, guys. So that was uh, yeah, right, eh? Got a dollar shaped plug cart for the dome. You know, I see the dome kind of growing out a little bit. I walked up to pay for it yesterday. Told the gentleman I heard this is a good blade. The guy in register, you know. He couldn't tell me anything about it. <laughs> he had a beard though. I, I kind of felt like an idiot. Then I went into saying, yeah, I have a goat and can't grow a beard because of how itchy it gets and all. And out the door I was. But yeah, Dollar Shave Club. Kind of curious what it, how it does. My brother Kyle, he said it, it's a good blade. Little miss, little miss, little miss, can't the wrong mm -hmm. Hey, you're still with me here. Appreciate it. You know what, I think I even told that guy <clears throat> at Rite Aid that I have a billy goat. He probably thought I was nuts.
Okay. You know what, you guys? I'm calling it a shave. Here we go. So, Feather Artist Club DX. Get yourself one of these guys. Thank you later. Mr. Murphy McNeil Kells and my Grizzly Bay brush. Wonderful combo. Oh yeah. Feeling good. Looking good. I mean, that's up for debate, but overall, very happy with that shave. So, until next time, I hope you're getting great shaves. I'll see you around the channel. Take it easy. Thank you for watching another episode of The Cutthroat Journey. Your support means a lot, so hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell icon so you know when I'm doing my next video. Until next time, I'll see you on the next episode.